Soon. Oh, so meron na kaya tayo ng issues with technical, no? <laughs> na wala mo na ako. I hope you don't mind. Uh, for those people, sino dito yung alam ko sino naman na ako? Say I. I. Right? Thank you. I want to know my audience, but I want to introduce who I am first. My name is Celeste. Hello, world. I am from the Zebrix tribe. I run the page Rooting for Celeste, and that's where I documented my journey. You see, I did not start off in a financial background. My backstory is I was an OFW nurse in Saudi Arabia for two and a half years, and I was trying to find my exit strategy. Stocks became my exit strategy, but I documented how I did it, no? If you were able to read it, ang daming kadramahan dyan, ang daming kong pinagdaanan, but finally, I'm already here in front of you. I also have the grip. It's, it's a shirt for traders, pero we're a little less active now than we used to be. And now that I have introduced myself, I wanna, I wanna get to know you guys, okay? So, sino dito yung nagsa stocks? Nice. Forex? Stocks and Forex? Bakit kayo nahihiga? Sino yung require lang pumunta dito? Ah, okay. Welcome here sa mundo namin. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start. Uh, when I first heard na parang, oh, I'm getting invited here sa Traders Fair, and I'm not very familiar with it, but I saw it's mostly Forex. So I'm like thinking, what the hell dito? But, but it's okay, kasi what I really specialize on is trading psychology. And trading psychology does not care what market you're trading, okay? It cares more about you, internal. And today, I, I, I was given a task of like 40 minutes to crash course you into it. And instead of trying to speed up a lot of concepts, I want to focus on one important topic. And that's psychological capital. Who here has heard of psychological capital? There's just a few numbers. But that's okay. Go tayo ng activity. Ganito, no? Alam ko inantok na kayo, pero magko-close tayo ng eyes. Okay, close your eyes. And think about the trade. Think about a trade you had. Think about your worst trade ever. Remember it, remember it. What was it like? Where were you? How were you sitting? What was that stop? Sa phone ba kayo nakatingin? Sa laptop ba kayo nakatingin? What time was it? What were you feeling? How was it? Okay. Right? Don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> now let's go to another one. Okay? Let's go to a, a better one naman. Close your eyes again and think about your best dream. Sana naman meron kayong best dream. Something that made you feel like may pag-asa ako dito sa, sa trading. Doesn't matter if it's forex. Doesn't matter if it's stock. Think about that time you think you were quite doing well. Okay. Alright. So open your eyes. Now, bakit ko pinagawa sa inyo yun? Because I want you to remember who you are on both areas because it has something to do with your psychological capital. Alright? So, narinig niyo ba ako yung mga nasa likod? I love it. Okay. So, if you don't hear me, let me know. I want to make sure you guys get value out of me. Okay? You're all important here. Nasa harap, nasa likod. You're all important here. So, there's two capitals, right? What are the two capitals you start out with? First, money. Money capital. Oh, sorry. Money capital. You can't trade without money. Okay? Fine, there's, there's virtual port, but you start out with money capital. Some people did the right thing. They started with a small. Some people went all in. But in the beginning, you have money capital. The second is your psychological capital. I'm trying my best maybe to be dito, but okay, let's do it. Money capital determines your portfolio size. Psychological de capital determines your performance. Okay? So why is psychological capital more important than money capital? Can anybody guess? So tak nila. Why do you think it's more important that you have a nice psychological capital than a big money capital? Because money capital is money sure. It can make you money sure. We can replicate it sure. But at the end of the day, you can't buy your way into performance. Correct? Makes sense. Does it matter, kahit may 10 million ako, if I don't know how to perform, it will eventually become, what, 100K. Kaya? Pwede mangyari sa market. Pwede. It can happen to traders. 
lalo na if for forex you're marginalized, you can wipe out. So that's the two capitals you start out with and you have all the time. But psychological capital, um, like money capital, can be depleted and can be replenished. But that depends. It's a totally different world from money capital na pagka nag-replenish ka sa kanya, kukuha ka ng money elsewhere. Psychological capital is all within you. It's all within you. It's how you uh, take care of yourself. Now, we're going to talk more about it, but uh, I'm just going to try to define it for you. This is how I defined it. Psychological capital is the mental gauge that allows a trader to trade properly. Okay? It can be trained, it can be expanded, it can be shrunk. So, what am I saying? Is there a difference of a trader who's been trading for 10 years versus a trader who's trading for one year? Meron? With their mentality? Meron? Right? The first, the trader is going to say, Ma'am, nawalan ako ng 2,000 pesos. Ayoko na. That's a newbie trader. That's okay. The 10 years trader will be like, I lost half a million today. Uh, got lost. Live to trade another day. Such a big difference. They have a difference in psychological capital. Their risk is different from one another. And that's what it does. And it can be trained. It can be trained. Honestly, I can, money capital, you can't train that. You can add more money, but you can't train it to make more money for you. But psych capital, it's your skill, it's your performance. Okay? So, pwede siyang mag shrink, pwede siyang mag expand depending on your state. Depending on your state. And we're going to talk more about this state as we go on. And if I'm talking too fast, let me know. Because I want to make sure na nagigats niya ako. Okay? Anyone here who doesn't understand Tagalog? Boy, the You're not gonna tell me. It's fine. So, status report. Your psychological capital, if you search about it more, you could see it sometimes called as mental capital, sometimes it's called emotional capital. Okay? But for my sake, I just wanna call it psych cap. So, here's your number one goal. If you were a soldier, I'm gonna tell you this is what you should do. Your mission is to protect your capital. I'm gonna tell you why. Because your psych capital will determine your one, your, per your performance. Your portfolio size will not determine your per performance, but your psych cap will. Second, it will determine your growth. If your psych cap is too small for the size you're handling in your portfolio, you will eventually lose that money. Correct? Kasi percentage based tayo. Ang 5% loss ng 100K is different sa 5% loss ng 1 million. Make sense? So if your side cap is small, you can't handle a bigger money. Alright? It will determine your tendency. It will tell you if you're the kind of person who will start panicking or if you're the person who's just calm. Rule-based. Process governed. Okay? So you need difference. And finally, wipe out. Who here has heard of the term wipe out? Of course, because <laughs> na Just full disclosure, I've been through this. Okay, all of the best traders I've known have been through wipeouts. Is that something to be embarrassed about? No, only if you quit, right? It's not a failure until you quit. I stood up. So wipeout doesn't mean na ubusa ka ng pera. Okay, wipeout doesn't mean I have 100k, 2,000 pesos na lang siya. That's not what it means. A wipeout means you are psychologically unable to trade anymore. I can't open my portfolio without being emotional. I can't buy a stock without being too fearful. I can't sell a stock without being too greedy. So that's when you're wiped out. It means you're mentally out of the game. All right? So we changed the, we changed the description. Maybe now you realize I know I don't know. It does happen. It does happen. And side cap. That means wipeouts. That not, it does not mean na parang kain pera. No. Kasi it can happen. Na bago pa maubos yung pera mo, psychologically incapable ka na. Right? It happens. So, why did I say it determines your performance? Check this chart out. I don't know kung chart nakalimutan ko na eh. But, I have a question. Do you think with these last four candles, may mga walang pa ng pera dyan? Some said yes, some said no, but I'm gonna tell you, yes, we know walang pa ng pera dyan. Imagine, my name is, uh, random name, my name is uh, Zian, 
Sino si Zia? My name is Zia and I'm a trader. And I want to try momentum trading. Okay? Day one, may nag-shut up na stock na ganito. And you're like, whoa, break up. Pero, nung dekado pa, di ko papasukan yan. Tapos, day two, it's shut up again. And then your friend started telling you, Zian, na-trade mo ba? Bumili ako kahapon sa close eh. 50% up na ako ngayon. Sabi sa'yo, bilhin mo eh. Sabi sa'yo, bilhin mo eh. Ikaw naman, eh, mukha pong delikado eh. Okay na yun, ganyan. Sally, you're thinking, bakit nga ba hindi ko pinili? Strong close yun na, Right? Ngayon nagsisisi ka kasi yung mga kaibigan mo kumita, ikaw gross ka pa rin. It happens. Now, the next day, you enter the stock, okay? This basically means it opened here, correct? Basically means it opened here. Ting candle and it opened there. And then it closed there, sa taas, right? But does that mean, does that mean the entire time paakit lang siya? No. There are times sa pagbili mo, kaka niya, hindi ka pumasok sa opening. Pagbili mo, nagpo-fluctuate pa pa baba. Nagpo-fluctuate pa pa ba. And what is a fearful trader gonna do? Pagbilang bumabalik sa AAP niya, Pagbigla nagka-fluctuate ulit, bumili ka sa 0.61, tapos makit 0.64, yes, 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 ang galing ko. Bigla ang bumili ka sa 0.62, eh 0.61 ka. Ay, ay, baka dapat i-take profit ko na yung 0.01. Diba? That can happen. So, take profit siya sa 0.01, talo pa siya sa commission, tapos nag-close at ahay. Nagsisi si Loco. I was wrong. Tomorrow, Babawiin ko lahat ng mali ko. Tatlong araw kong na-miss out to. Bili ako. Madami all in. Ito na. Ito na yung stock. Makikita mo, magpo-post sa mga stock trading group yan. Ah, road to 100. Nakasakay na ba kayo? For, no, not for newbies. I don't know why. Pag sinabi na not for newbies, mas binibili ng newbies. So, nangyayari yan, ha? Not for newbies. Caveat emptor. May ganun pa. But, Fine, bumili ka, <coughs> opening. And then, all in ka. Kasi sabi mo, ito na yun. Dun, sabi na, uh, huwag kang sumakay ka sa malakas na alon. So, sumakay ka sa malakas na alon. And then, look at that long week. Look at that long week. For someone who has no psychological capital, do you think ayaw niya mag-hold ng ganyan? No, he'll be like, oh no, same niya yung AEP ko yesterday. Fake out na to bull trap, whatever. Start selling, end of day, loss of Asia. So in a chart like this, you may look like there's no way you can lose, but if you're not ready for it, you will lose, okay? The average trader starts with a tolerance for risk in a shunken and damaged side capital. Ganito lang. So umpisa, atas ba yung risk nyo? Yes! Nagsashopping tayo! Ay! Sabi ng ano, sabi ng recommendation, akit daw tong sito, bilik ka. O dito din ako sa airlines, o bilik ka ulit. O mukhang maganda yung bangkong yan, BDO, bilik ka. Ay, may bad news sa BPIs. Di ba? Nagsasopping ka eh. Nagmumukhang mutual fund yung portfolio ng trader. You start buying, you start buying, because basically, you just started with money. You haven't been hurt yet. Alright? In the beginning, a trader is usually risky. Lalo na if you got hyped into it, like, friend, ano, laki na nang kinita ko sa stock. Sino mo, kinita ko ng 500 today. Like, for some people, making 500 plus pesos in one day as extra money, that's something. That's something. So, some people enter because of that, right? And they they go risky. Kung kaya ng kaibigan ko, kaya ko din, right? Kung kaya ni Guru, kaya ko din. They make it look so easy. I can do it too. So, in the beginning, a trader is more risky. And then, it's, it starts kind of like this, you know. Your side cap is full, money cap is like this, and then you trade again. You're a level one trader. You just got in the market. Welcome. Welcome to this, to this world. Then, whoops, you made a mistake. Side capital went lower. Money cap, medyo bumagsak. Parang, ay, oh shucks, pwede. Totoo pa lang mawawala ng pera dito. Medyo bumaba yung side cap mo, pero yung money cap mo, hindi naman siguro wipe out first trade pa lang, right? Then let's go, oops, double oopsie. Now your side cap is just like this, kalahati na. Your money cap is ganun din, kalahati na. And by that time, you make more mistakes because you're new. It's normal. It's normal to make mistakes in this industry. Actually, you bank on it. You bank that you will make a mistake. That's why you always have to have an exit strategy and a risk management 
you're bound to make mistakes, sight gap is back to this, almost nothing. Pero that doesn't mean you have Minsan handicap mo meron pa rin. Then, the vicious cycle has started. What do I mean? This is something from Mark Douglas. He's a training psychologist. Rest in peace. He's dead now. But he's one of the best. This is what he said. Everyone goes through the same cycle. We, novice traders start out as carefree, then become scared. Because they made mistakes, they get punishment, they become scared. And then our fears continuously diminish our potential. Why do I say that? Why do our fears diminish our potential? It's because like this. In the beginning, in the beginning, the worst you can do is to traumatize yourself. Why do I say that? Why do you think I said that? Hmm? Why do you think I said na sa umpisa, ang pinakamalaki mong pwedeng gawin na pagkakamal is traumatize ka? It's because you're still learning, right? You're still learning. And if you put a lot of money and you made a mistake, you will stop eventually enjoying the learning process. All you want to do is to be right. Because when you were wrong, it hurt. I lost money. I just lost all what I said, all I saved. So now you're traumatized. I don't want to lose anymore. But you just stop your learning process. Because in the stock market, bar bank on it, stock market bank with it, you're going to make mistakes and you're supposed to learn from them. And now if you can't make mistakes, you can't learn. Even if the, the mistake is in front of you, even if dapat may natututunan ka, you don't want it. You want to be right. Because it hurts to make mistakes. So the first thing you have to understand in the beginning, survival. Survive. Survive. Try to keep your capital intact as much as possible. And two, learn as much as you can. You can only learn if you haven't been traumatized. Alright? So we're here. Now that we understood how important psych capital is, let's go on the factors that makes it. Uh, that, that affects your psych capital. Sleep deprivation. Sino dito yung hustle culture? I'm a big fan of Gary Vee. Who here is a big fan of Gary, Gary Vee? I'm a big fan of the guy. I'm a big fan of other peak performance coaches. I, re I really love them. But sometimes, sometimes, people, nagkakamayopia, nakikita lang nila is work hard, work hard, work hard. They haven't seen the fact that you have to rest well. Okay? So, a sleep deprivation, you got like hashtag hustle, late at night charting, back, back testing, um, trade olibukas, you're thinking you're doing your best, you're thinking you're pushing yourself to the extremes, you're thinking you're giving out your all, and you think your psych capital is high. Why? You're motivated. Dude, you're prepared. You're prepared. So, you think your performance should be better, right? Because I'm doing my best day. I did my homework, eh? But, Here's a study. It's from the Journal of Neuroscience. But, um, there, I, I've, I've put my, breath, uh, <laughs> my citations there, just so you know it's official. It says here, if you are sleep deprived, you are prone to act more aggressively, violate rules in pursuit of illusory quick profits. So you think right now, you think you are at your best. Hell no. Pagpuyat ka, pagpagod ka you will not make the best decisions in the market. So science is against you. You think your psych capital is like this? It's actually like this. And if your psych capital is like this, your money capital will become like this. Get so far? All right. Next is Superman syndrome. Superman syndrome, look at it. You got so much money. You're rolling in bank. Right? So, so the jump post mo ng portfolio mo. Sabi ng friends mo, Lodi, pa mentor. <laughs> Iba ka na ngayon. But your side capital is low. Why do I say that? Because at this point, you think you're never wrong. And if you go wrong, uh, and if you go wrong, patry mong bawiin just to go back to that state na tama ka ulit. Right? Something I need, to, uh, I'm gonna leave with you guys. Both winning and losing can psychologically damage a trader. Now that's new. Usually it's just losing. Bakit nyo yung pati winning pwede pa lang psychologically damaged? That's new, right? Because one, if you're winning, you think what you did is right. But the question is, did you really do something right? Or were you violating your rules when you did it? Sumakay ka ba dahil sinabi ng friends mo dahil reko ng guru mo? O sumakay ka dahil alam mo talaga ginagawa mo? So it doesn't mean you win, you made the right decision. 
doesn't mean you win, your side cap is um, intact. Another reason, if you win big, at sunod-sunod yung chamba mong ganun, it happens during the telco play, who here was your telco play for the stock market people, for the forest, I don't know what the equivalent is, but there was a time the stock market rate every day may 50% up. Okay, sa amin malaki na yun. I know, I know you guys talk about 1,000% up, but for us, 50% up in a day, wow. I'm rolling in bad, right? Um, but if nasanay ka sa ganon, or if you're a newbie trader, and you've been making the impossible trades for, it, for in the beginning, after that, when the, the market normalizes, I have a question, will you be happy when you make just 5%? Will you be happy? No? Hell no! 50% gusto ko eh, yun yung nakasanayan ko, yun yung nagpunta sa akin dito, yun yung nagpa full time sa akin. I know people nag full time because of the telco series, and they will never be happy after 5% na lang. They have to reshift their mindset that it was just um, a glitch, it was just a time, there was just euphoria. Okay? So, naman, so after you're super mad, it's your first big loss. And like I said, of course, eventually you're gonna make a mistake. There is no trading strategy that's 100%. And even if you have a high probability setup, it's still just what? Probabilities. Even, again, I'll say it again. Even if you have a high probability setup, it's still probabilities. And sometimes things will not go your way. So after winning streaks, you will eventually have your first big loss. And that's okay. But what happens is, nagkakamakabawi syndrome. Think about it. I've always been right. I got 100% on exams, tatlo. And then suddenly, yung fourth exam ko, naging 40, 40 over 100 ako. How would you feel? You'll be like, de, babawiin ko to. I know I can do it. I've been doing it. So what happens, it is small balls eh. There's a, there's a quote na parang sabi, your first big loss, uh, your first loss is your best loss. Kasi yung second, yung third, yung fourth, pinababawi mo sa first. Before you know it, lahat na napanaluna mo, umbas na. So, this one, breakup. Now, I know a lot of traders thinking like, um, you have to be emotionless when you trade. Separate professional from personal. But do you think you can really do that? Do you? I know there's a lot, like a wild, wild west notion na parang suck it up. But do you think you can really do that? Here's something, a really, really fast crash course, okay? Takot ka sa ipis na. Ako takot din ako sa ipis, okay? Takot din ako sa ipis. If you see something, and you feel, feel natatakot ka doon, nakapag-isip ka ba? Pag nakita mo isang bagay, natakot ka? No! Emotions will take over. Emotions will take over. It's because the brain processes data this way. First, you see the data, and then it goes to your emotional part muna. It's in your amygdala. It goes there, and your amygdala will start deciding, is this, um, is this dangerous or not? Pag hindi dangerous, tsaka lang siya pupunta sa logical area mo. Pag dangerous, talk siya sa emotional. There is no way to circumvent it. It goes to your emotional area first, and then it goes to your logical. Have you ever tried to tell someone na, huwag kang matakot sa ipis, mas malaki ka pa dyan? Nang work? <laughs> it did not work. If you're fearful, you're fearful. And that goes to your beliefs in money. Okay? Your beliefs in money. If you think losing money, if you have like scarcity mindset, it happens. Okay? We've all been a, well, we're all in the same world. We know this is not a paradise. Things happen. Right? But if you have scarcity mindset and you're losing money in the trade or you place money in a, in a market that alam mo pwedeng mawala. Some, of, some, some traders, they can't think straight because they feel like this is fight or flight. Right? So yung belief mo sa pera, pumapasok dito yan. And this, it's in the same way as a breakup. Now, if you're already being emotional, how can you make logical choices? Okay? There was actually an interview I made from a professional trader who's been doing it for 10 years and who has been managing funds. Pero hindi ko na nilagay dyan. But he was going through a breakup. And he said that his performance went really down. So sa ganong, pagba, sa ganong bagay, you have, two, you have two options eh. Number one, get out of the market. 
right? You can't lose money if you're not in the market. Makes sense. Ang gusto may ka, doon ka lumawala ng pera. Pangalawa, if you really need to trade, factor in. So, huwag mo tataasan yung risk manage, yung risk mo, position your size well according to how much you can handle. Because you're already at a bad state outside of trading, you may eventually put it in there. Break na kami ng girlfriend ko. Tos pa ako dito. Napakawalang kwentong tao ka talaga. It happens. Okay? Ah! Okay. So, finally, this one. Watching the market all day. Hashtag has hustle ulit. Hashtag hustle. Like, buong araw nakaupo. Eight hours nakatingin sa market. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to debunk this myth for you guys. You shouldn't be doing this. I'm a full-time trader. I don't do this. There's a study, like I've put two in there, that there, there's a human's average attention span. Yung mga iba, medyo nakaka, nakakabastos eh. Parang two minutes lang daw yung human average attention span natin. Tapos kausap niyo ako ngayon, 40 minutes tayo. So, yung iba, two minutes. Sabi ng iba, 30 minutes. Sabi ng iba, longer. Now, I don't know kung ano yung pinaka-average, but we all can agree that a, a, a human being has an average attention span, right? Before we doze off. Before we doze off. Merong ganon. Now, um, imagine if may average human attention span mo on something na, kanyari, classroom lang, 30 minutes. Remember college? Thir after 30 minutes, Mom, just go wrap up na tayo. Tapos nagtanong pa yung kaklase mo, kainis. Diba? Ayaw mo na. But, can you imagine having focused attention on something and it's volatile? It has money for eight straight hours. Eventually, bibigay kay. Eventually, you'll start saying, sell ko na, hindi ko na kaya panoorin to. Or eventually, tactical sell na, kasi ganito, ganyan, ganyan. But, at some point, you stop doing your plan kasi you're out of willpower. And willpower is like an energy na uubos siya. If your average is 30 minutes and you're trying to stretch it to 8 minutes, does it get harder to do it? Yes. Can you imagine one hour ko lang pinag-exercise pinag ng coach mo sa gym? Gagawin mo 8 hours? Kaya, hit up. So that's why, try to make sure you don't watch the market all day. You don't have to be there on every fluctuation eh. Do you have to know kung umakit ng 0 0.01 at 0 0.01 after? No! All you have to know if nasa cut loss level mo na siya or nandun ka na ba uli sa tranching or should you start selling. That's all you need to know. Correct? Makes sense. Okay. Now it's your turn. What if ganito yung side cap mo? Wow. Ay, kung ganyan yung side cap mo. Your money cap is like this, medyo mababa, but you are at your best. You're performing well. You've been sleeping well. Life's good. I mean, it's not perfect, but... I know I, I know what I am. I know what I can do. If your psych cap is like this and your money cap is like this, trust me, eventually your money cap will follow. Because your psych cap determines your performance. And if you're performing well, money will follow. Correct? Makes sense. Right. So trading inevitably exhausts your psych cap. Doesn't matter if you win, doesn't matter if you lose. Trading in itself, right? But you have two choices. Either you lose, make mo lose money or make money, or operate here. Protect money or make money. Nakikita niyo yung difference? Dito taya ka ng taya, kaya nawawalan ka. Dito, iisipin mo kung kailan ka lang dapat tumataya. Because not trading a lot does not mean you're trading well. Right? Doesn't matter. Si ma'am, kunyari, 10 yung trades niya, Tapos sabihin natin yung isang tao, um, 20 yung trades niya, kung quality trades naman yung kanya, better pa rin yun kesa sa 20 trades. Tama! You don't have to be in the market all the time. You just have to be there when it matters. Right? Always think, is this trade worth the energy? Is this trade worth my psych cap? Is it? If it is, go. If it's not, why? Why are you there? If you're there to learn, Make sure yung position size mo, maliit lang, for learning lang talaga. Hindi yung tipong nalungkot ka kasi nung nag 5% up siyang, nabigay lang sa'yo 100 pesos. ba? So, expectations pa din. Next, attend to yourself before attending to the markets. What I'm saying is, 
even going to the even before going to the markets, you have to make sure you are at your best state. Trading is a performance performance field. It's just like sports, just like music, just like Beyonce and Bruno Mars performing. It's the same thing. Kaya din, you're performing at this field, right? And if you're not at the top quality state, what are you doing there? You're gonna get eaten alive by other by other players. So you have to make sure. Ako ba okay pa ako? Pagod na ba ako? Kaya ko ba itake tong trade na to? Am I willing to take this risk? Because this risk is gonna take a lot of me. Can I take it? Right. So attend to yourself first before attending to the markets. It's a performance field. Why are you on the court when you are injured? Now I'm talking to Filipinos, but who here loves basketball? Okay, at least your husband loves basketball. You're, right? So at some point in any sports, if a player, I don't know, kite basketball, volleyball, tennis, whatever, if a player is injured, does that player have to be on the field? No, right? Most of the time, that would make him lose more. What could make him win? If he stops, recovers, come back stronger. Okay? It's the same in trading because we are both in performance fields. Pain, like, so this is my mentor, that's my chibi of him. Z Freaks, you all know him. So Z told me, pain needs to be addressed, not suppressed. So think about it, if you're not in good shape, if you're in pain right now, are you supposed to ignore it? Are you supposed to stop, address it, and then come back stronger? So it's supposed. Don't don't parang man na man up. Don't think na parang suck it up. Oh, look at your portfolio. Does sucking it up look good on it? <coughs> Probably not, right? Like you reflect dun eh. Tapos dada dadami pa yung problema mo. Kasi ngayon lose lose ka pa. So pain needs to address to be addressed, not suppressed. Thank you.